Hey everyone, this is Carbonite, and today I actually have a box opening for you, and not just one box, two boxes, three boxes, four boxes of Storm of the Blue Calvary. Now I did actually get these off 50 cards, uh, use discount code, not sponsored, and get nothing because I'm not actually sponsored by 50 cards. Anyways, uh, you're probably wondering Carbonite, why did you buy four boxes of a set that is not good and from a format that nobody cares anymore about? Um, you see, the reason for that is I recently learned that the ASR Maelstrom actually comes from this set and I want to give myself Copium that I can actually pull it even though I can tell you right now I'm definitely not going to pull it. Uh, but you know, content is content. I didn't spend that much to get these four boxes. They were like 15 bucks a piece. Uh, I will mention I got it on sale. Um, one of his sales. Uh, don't worry about that sound. It's just me, you know, casually tossing boxes. Anyways, I've actually opened a ton of this set already. I think I've probably opened like six or seven boxes at this point. Um, which probably doesn't sound like a lot, but I guess I got them at full price. So does that does that make it better or worse? I don't know. Uh, anyways, I'm just gonna take out all the packs as you're seeing in front of you and just splay it out. I'm not gonna be paying attention to where we get VRs from, how many VRs we get. I think I once got a box with three VRs. Uh, so it's definitely possible we end up with a random amount of VRs. But I think this is actually the most amount of packs I've had in my in front of me at once. Just because I usually just will always crack open packs whenever I get them. Uh, so for those of you that don't do this on a regular basis. Uh, well, I guess I had a case before, but those were all in little boxes. So uh, I didn't really shuffle them up, but we'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, you know, I should probably be a lot more organized with this, but fuck it. I am trying to get an ASR Maelstrom. Probably not going to be putting much time into this just because, um, you know, no one cares about this set. I barely care about this set. And look, it's a crit trigger. Ah, mini belly. I wish the SPs were on TCG right now, but they are not because I need those for my max rarity. And it is impossible to find them, unfortunately. Is that a double rare? Oh, look, another one. Noroi. Uh, that's interesting, two double rares in a row. Uh, yeah, I'll clean that up later. I feel like I do that all the time though. Uh, ooh, Kakapu. I actually really like this card. He's pretty cool. It's basically just like a filter for a mill. Uh, if Great Nature had any way of taking advantage of having a giant drop zone, then that card would actually be pretty good. Uh, but considering the fact that we don't, uh, you know, it's terrible. Uh, anyways. Man, I guess I do also need some more triggers um, for something. Ooh, look, a Lambros. That's actually worth something, I think. I don't remember the last time uh, I checked Lambros's price, but um, I think he is somewhat expensive because Lambros is actually a viable deck in premium right now. Um, probably also somewhat viable in V, but I don't think as much as in premium. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. Where was I? Where am I putting the rest of my cards? I don't know. I'll probably have a giant stack of cards by the end of this, uh, but we'll see. Ooh, Galaxy Blau Cougar. Shout out to uh, my buddy Jesse who built a max rarity Blau deck and then proceeded to sell it within like a month. I bet that was worth it. Is this a VR? No, this is a triple rare. This is the base Shiranui. The second Shiranui is the uh, VR for the set. Or for Nubatama, I should say. Uh, you know, I... Oh, speak of the devil, there's the VR. Uh, the Shiranui Oboro, I believe it is. Um, I guess another thing that I'm probably more likely to pull is an SP Clan Pack. Uh, I've never opened an SP Clan Pack before, and I think it'd be really cool. Even though I already have all the Great Nature SP stuff, I don't really need it. It's a double rare, dull sledge. Um... It's just be cool to have. I mean, I could make a second premium deck for Great Nature and have a 
SP Quick Shield for it. I think that'd be pretty cool. Ooh, Measured Fossa. I really like this card. Uh, it's... I guess we'll go over it, because I really do like this card. So it's... When it's placed from hand, you see me one, look at the top two cards of your deck, you call one of them to your rear guard, and then you discard the other one. And then if it attacks, if you have a great three of your vanguard, you choose when your rear guard gets plus 10k, and then at the end of the turn, you retire it. So honestly, I feel like this card has potential, but right now where Great Nature is, we just don't have enough spare CB or Soul Blast to make it really viable enough. But, you know, I really like that card. Fossas are awesome animals that don't get a lot of love. Um, although I think there's more than one Foss in Great Nature, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, measured Foss? No, that is Measured Foss. I'm trying to think if there is another Foss in Great Nature, but I can't think of one right now. I know there are Lessers, which are like Red Pandas or something. But outside of that, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see. Getting a whole bunch of nothing. Ooh, Spool Mary. I love Spool Mary. She's great. Um, and then Discount... A binoculus tiger or binoculus tiger at home if you want to be a little more accurate um i don't know what else i say beginning hyrax my least favorite great nature starter oh another measured fossa lucky me we'll see if we can get a play set of measured fossa from this one of my favorite cards from this set uh another one of these Woo. i should honestly just flip to the rares because that's all anyone cares about right now but um i don't know i think my friend called it savory in the pack oh we pulled an isabel this is like a dollar i love this isabel i really like the art too uh unfortunately she has like huge text box so you don't really get to see a lot of it but really like it isabel is one of my favorite units probably second to leopold uh in great nature as you can tell from this beautiful play map from Zero Damage Gaming. Another site that I'm obviously not sponsored by because I'm a nobody YouTuber that nobody cares about. <laughs> but anyways, you know. Ooh, Nikki. Actually, I think Nikki's are like more than a dollar. Uh, but I I actually have like a decent amount of Nikki's just because I've opened this set so many times uh, for no reason. It's kind of hard to tell just uh, what's a rare and what's not just because of my camera setup where I just basically have my phone set up in front. Oh, look, another Lambros. Nice. Uh, Lambros is a triple rare, right? Yeah. Wait, that's not Lambros. Lambros is a VR. This is Thavos. Did I call him Lambros before? Man. I don't know my seamen from each other, even though I play Aqua Force. Although, ooh, Victor, VR. Um... I do like Aqua Force, as you can tell from me playing Maelstrom a lot. Um, but I don't really care for the Aquaroids as much. I'm very much more a Tear Dragon or Sea Dragon kind of guy. Um, which is why, even though I do have like a complete Favas premium deck, I almost never play it. Um, just because, I don't know. I don't really like the aesthetic. Like, if you're going to be playing a deck, you want to like the unit you're playing with, right? You don't want to just play a deck because it's good. Uh, I guess some people do, but if I'm going to play a deck, I'd rather like actually enjoy what I'm playing. Like you can enjoy the play style, but I feel like you also sometimes have to enjoy the aesthetic of the deck you're playing. Otherwise, you know, are you really having a good time? I know I don't when I play Thavas. Uh, one reason, because I don't know what I'm doing in that deck. I've, I played it like three times and I have no idea what I do um, whenever I do play it. And also because I just really don't like the aesthetic. I mean, they're cool. I think Aquaroids are cool when they're supporting an admiral, like a dragon. Um, but by themselves, I guess it's all right. I mean, I played Thavas in Zero um, when that was a thing. Uh, speaking of Zero, I do actually have a video planned. Oh, that's a double rare. Um, for Zero because I did actually play it quite a bit. So I'm probably going to be coming out with a video just about thoughts and just like showing off some things you know reminiscing what zero was like for me um but anyways back to the pack opening i guess it's a lot of duds in a row but let's see what we do nothing oh double rare 
I guess I could talk about this card. This card is really funny. I think this would be like a really cheesy card. It's a really stupid card. It's CB1's place. CB1, discard all the cards from your hand. You choose three normals from a drop and you put them back to your deck. And then if you return three cards, it gets plus 20k, which I think is insanely funny. I know Great Nature actually does commit a lot of its cards during the main phase and then draws everything back during the end phase, but that's just kind of funny. And I think that's like one of the few ways in the V format that you can actually recycle your deck. Which is another thing about V na Great Nature, which I do not understand at all. If you're going to make us mill out for no benefit, can you at least give us a card that's like, I don't know, like a pot of, what's that thing called? Avarice? Can we at least get like a pot of Avarice that's just like free? Ugh. I feel like that would be a pretty neat order card to have. Just like a pot of Avarice. Or it's like an order card, you choose like three normal units from your drop zone, you put them back into your deck and you draw like a card. Maybe draw two cards, so you're plussing one off of the order. Um, but like, put a requirement. Ooh, big belly. I love big belly. Um, but make it like, you have to have 20 or more cards in your drop zone, so it's like a dead card beforehand. Um, and it won't even work until you're like, almost milled out. Oh look, Sternball Cougar. But, yeah. I mean, I think deck out is kind of a good thing because it kind of, Dennis, uh, it kind of ensures that premium games don't go on forever. Although there are things like Genesis that can actually like recycle their entire deck. So maybe it's not entirely fair that some decks can recycle their drop zone and others cannot. But I don't know. I think, hmm. Or maybe I should say, oh, look, a Lambros. Um, it is a good thing that we can't recycle our decks as well as we might be able to or should be able to. But I don't know. I just hate losing to deck out. Ooh, Blusher Parakeet, another one of my favorite cards. I really do like that card. I mean, I think Mega Calling has one that's almost identical, but like better. But, you know, I like Blushing Parakeet. I definitely played him in a... Um, grade three toolbox deck at one point. I think I might've made a deck profile of it, but I don't think I ever posted it. It was basically just a great nature deck that was focused around a bunch of grade three cards and you would spam Mike Sabado and Blushing Parakeet to basically find your pieces. Um, it was super tight on space and like it was super CB and Soul Blast heavy. So it, it did things. I know it definitely did a pretty good job in like the one or two tournaments that I played it in. But I don't know. It's just with new things coming out, I think that especially like the token build is much better. Uh, another Sharon Nui. Anyways, we are actually making a decent dent into this pile. And it's only been 12 minutes. I mean, I'm not going through every pack. So that's pretty good. Another card I like, Flow Panther. It's really funny that. He, well, I guess we'll go over his skill. He's Soul Blast 1, choose when you're regardless of plus 10k and cards at the end of the turn. And then if it's on Vanguard Circle, you actually get a draw card, which I think is insanely funny um, to think about just because, I don't know. Why would you ever want to ride that? And riding that gives you what? A draw for that skill? But, you know, eh, it's funny. I mean, I guess it is better as an emergency ride. Oh, look, another Shirinui. Huh. But, I mean, obviously, b back in this time before we had Ride Deck, there was the possibility of you riding into the wrong Grade 3. But at least this one doesn't feel as bad. Um, it does also have the skill where it goes into Soul when it's retired. Which makes me think it might be viable for something if we ever get something that requires a Soul Blast of a Grade 3. But in all honesty, I think that we're past that point. Um, it's Big Belly Locked and also it has to be by a card ability. Um, so I guess theoretically, if you were to use something like, what is it, Tearful Malice, um, to like retire it with like an order skill or something, it would go into the soul, which is very funny to think about. But honestly, the payoffs right now are not worth it. I mean, Big Belly himself, the uh, V1, you just gotta stand all your 20k or greater rear guards. And there's no way to really pump up everything to a point where it would be worth it. So there's, it's not really worth thinking about, but you know, maybe it becomes viable. Ooh, Measure Fossa. We have four, three copies of them. We just need one more and we'll have a play set. Very, very cool. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, another Nikki. There are, actually, I think we're down to one box left. And obviously no ASR because, you know, I don't think I'm gonna pull it, but, you know. An SP Clan Pack would be really cool too, but I know one of my friends did actually pull an SP Clan Pack at one point. Um, actually, my same friend who built the silly little SP Blau deck. But, you know. Ooh, another big belly. I think we've gotten almost two of every single VR at this point. No, that's not true. We only got one Isabel. We only got one Lambros. I think we've gotten one of every VR at this point, I believe. Um, am I missing anything? Nubatama only has one VR, right? Yeah, they only have the Shirinori Ubro. Um, Nova's only have the Victor. Uh, Great Nature has the two. And I think Aqua Force only has the one VR, which is interesting. What a funny set. Uh, Great Nature getting two VRs. As opposed to every other clan, which is infinitely more popular. Except for Nubatama, I guess. Um, oh, Galaxy. I think it's a second galaxy. Anyways, looks like we are down to five packs. So our hopes and dreams for this being an actually relevant box opening have diminished. I mean, they diminished the instant I, I bought these. So uh, <laughs> down to three packs, almost done. Thanks if you've been sticking it through to this entire point. Uh, if you watch the video, if you listen to me ramble about literally nothing, um, thanks, I guess. Um, uh, I don't really make any monetization from these videos, but, you know, I, I'm glad I was able to, um, make, give someone enjoyment. Uh, so there we go. Nothing, absolutely nothing. I guess we'll go over the polls. Uh, give me a second to actually organize it. So I guess we'll go over all the high rarity stuff we pulled. Uh, so we only pulled one Shirinui Oboro, but honestly, who cares about Shirinui? Uh, we got three of the base Shirinui. Um, and then we got a Genkai, two Furais, two Norois. And then for Aqua Force, we only got one Lambros. A little unfortunate because that's actually kind of a pricey card. But yeah, who cares? I didn't buy this set to actually make money. Uh, we got two Thavas, uh, two Dennis. Uh, Thavis is actually worth, I think, like the two, three dollars or something. Uh, the double rare Nikki's, I think Nikki's are actually might be worth something, and then just a bunch of Petros. Um, for Nova's, we actually got only one Victor, one Cool Hank, uh, three Galaxy Blau Cougar, and two Stern Blau Cougar. Um, we got two Doss Ledge, and then what is this thing? Break Pass. Then, of course, my favorite clan, Great Nature, we pulled one of the Isabels. We got well, not one, but two big bellies. And then unfortunately we missed out on the playset for Measure Fossa, but we did get three copies of it. If we were playing Yu-Gi-Oh, that would be a playset. Um, and then we got two blushing parakeets and then this one ringtail, Bl blessed ringtail, I think, right? No, best song ringtail. And then just two mini bellies. Um, so I guess that's what I pulled. Hope you guys enjoyed this really weird box opening um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.